Um, this is kind of fun. My friends and I played hide and go seek in the dark recently, which I haven't played since I was a kid. And we played whatever, we get to the end and I realize there's one person not found. So what do I say? Ollie, ollie, oxen free. Right, remember, remember? Um, and all of a sudden my friend bursts out of the closet and he goes, aha, I told you you can't beat a black man at hide and go seek in the dark. <laughs> True story. He goes, all I had to do was stand there. I just made sure not to smile or open my eyes. And I was like, okay, R. Kelly. <laughs> Playing hide and go seek and I'm hiding in the closet. Oh my God, I hear her coming towards the closet. I better not open my eyes or smile. She'll know I'm in the closet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. So let's talk about the Nuva Ring. Guys, you want to talk about the Nuva Ring? Yeah, of course you do. So, <laughs> the Nuva Ring is like the newest form of birth control on the market. It's a ring. Don't worry, guys, you don't put it on the girl's fingers. <laughs> Go somewhere a little bit more intimate, you know what I mean? It's not for me. However, I was thinking if they want to sell more of the Nuva Ring, they should just make Beyonce the spokesperson. Because if you like it, then you should have put a ring in it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring in it. <laughs> or how about two chains? I got two chains and a Nuva ring. Two chains and a Nuva ring. <laughs> but it really should be somebody who like young ladies look up to and someone that really needs the Nuva ring, like uh, Taylor Swift, right? The, com <laughs> the commercial can be her and a pack of birth control. We're never, ever, ever getting back together. Okay, fine. <laughs> I want to end on this. I want to tell you guys about a road trip I went on recently. Um, my friend and I drove across the U.S. and one of the states we drove through was Texas. Let me start that story over. <laughs> no, but like literally less than half an hour into the state, we hear, woo, pull over, California. <laughs> So we pull over, and the cop gets out of the car, and I swear to you, I've never seen anything like this in LA. The cop had a cowboy hat on, big old belt buckle, like cowboy boots, and he has his hand towards his gun, like Texas Walker Ranger, ready to draw. And he starts walking towards my car, and I'm watching him. And all of a sudden, I start feeling like I'm in an old western. I start hearing, ooh, ooh. I'm watching him in my side mirror. He's looking at me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So he gets to my car, and of course he says, you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, well, I see you're a state trooper. Were you calling to, uh, or pulling me over to invite me to the state trooper's ball? And he was like, ma'am, state troopers don't have balls. <laughs> hey, he said it, not me, so. All right, well, you guys have been a diaper load of fun. I'm gonna make like a baby and head out. I'm Karen May. Thank <laughs> you.